I'm gonna show you guys. I think you guys already saw it in the thumbnail. Oh my gosh. It's three bags full of stuff. Hey there, my handsome and pretty little cobras, and welcome back to the Cobra's Nest. For those of you who are new, my name is Mignon Cobra, and I make minimalism videos. So today's minimalism video is going to be a true minimalism video. I'm going to be doing the second round of ruthless decluttering. I did another round of maybe pieces that I had in my closet, and I have a lot that I want to share with you guys. I'm just like in my decluttering era, in my like curating, refining era. There's a lot of really old ratty pieces that I've been holding on to for years now. And I'm finally in a good place. I did a lot of shopping last year and I had a lot of PR packages recently. So I feel like there's some ratty stuff I can finally let go of. And I want to share that with you guys today. So without further ado, let's just get to the video. Let's get it. Let's go. Woo. Okay, so it is a lot. I'm going to show you guys. I think you guys already saw it in the thumbnail. Oh my gosh. It's three bags full of stuff. So we're going to be doing it like we did last time. Rapid fire, just holding up the piece, telling you what's good and moving it along because nobody ain't got time for that. You guys can play this video while you're cleaning, decluttering, just to kind of give you a little bit of motivation, get you in the groove because that's how I like doing these. I did this declutter while listening to other decluttering videos. Okay, so first off, here we have this white shirt. A lot of these pieces that I was kind of like maybe about, I put them back on and I tried them on in the mirror to see how I felt, like what was the vibe. Maybe it was just one of those pieces I just didn't really feel like wearing. But honestly, it's so coarse. This type of waffle material doesn't age well. It's really coarse. And I put it on and it was so itchy and scratchy. And I was like, I already don't like putting it on because the white has yellowed. One of the things about white is that it yellows in like a weird way. And like a, it's it's just so tired. It's done. Because of that, I can finally let it go. This has survived so many maybe rounds. Finally, I'm like, it's been three years of maybe rounds and I'm still not wearing it. Not even once. We can let this go and move on with our lives. Next up we have is this very cute little Nobo shirt. It's in great condition. This one is actually fairly new. I bought this when I bought some like little Nobo tops last year, which are great for being around in the house. But this is that same issue of being a warm colorway that when I put it on, it's just like, I hate to wear it. And I can finally give myself permission to not have to wear these warm beiges anymore. It's not a mood, it's not a vibe. I'm just letting it go and moving on with my life. Okay, next up we have another gray. I don't know why I thought to be a good minimalist, I had to wear gray. I hate wearing gray. And not only that, I also realized I hate turtlenecks. I mean, this was great for when I used to ride a motorcycle in China and it was cold as hell. So turtlenecks were part of my lifestyle. I do not ride a motorcycle anymore. So because of that, I do not need such high tech heat tech. So this is from Uniqlo. This is the heat tech. So it is very warm. I'm in a house all day and it's really hot and I don't need a turtleneck suffocating me. So because of that, we're not doing this. I don't like turtlenecks. I don't like the great colorway. I don't like the heat tech. It's it's too much for like indoor Canadian weather. Like I just can't, everything's wrong with it. It's very worn out. I can finally let it go. Next up we have is the super pilled scarf. I love the scarf. This was like my ride or die scarf. I wore it like crazy. I actually ended up using that like shaver that I got in a PR package, the Renvu, to shave part of it. And then I realized like, why am I shaving a, a scarf? Like, I just can't. And like, I did like one quarter of it and I was exhausted and I was like, I don't wanna do this anymore. I'm just gonna take the money and just go buy myself a new scarf. So because of that, I will be letting it go. I can show you guys the section that I did that I shaved. So that is the shaved part and this is the non-shaved part. You can see the little cottony balls. And I was just like, I don't wanna spend another two, three hours shaving this thing. So I was like letting that go and moving on. Okay, next up we have is an, a pair of white shorts. And if you guys have watched any of my decluttering videos, you guys know I have a rule. When clothes have holes in it and I've sewn it and the holes have reappeared, that's my final like, the final line in the dirt, I draw the line there. When it has holes and the holes have broken open, <laughs> even after I've stitched it, I can let it go. So this one I've upcycled a bajillion times. So there's holes in the pocket here, which I sewed back together. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, like it has holes in the pockets on both sides because this piece is really old. This is from when I used to live in China. So this is like five years old. There's more holes here on the side that like the strings are holding on for dear life. The butt area is like super worn out. It's like super pilled. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like super pilled and it's not the most flattering of cuts. It's like a really awkward like length. It's like high on my waist and like low on my butt. It doesn't look good. I love the color and I love the material and I have worn it a lot. I definitely got my money's worth, but like I never reach for it. There's never a day where I think I want to feel uncomfortable. I just don't wear it because of that. So I gave myself three years and I was like in those three years, I still never reached for it. So, and the one time I did wear it, I wore it for like Valentine's day and I put it on and I didn't feel good. Like I, I, I couldn't wait to take them off. And I was just like, life's too short 
hard to be wearing uncomfortable clothes. Okay, next up we have is a really old scarf. So this scarf is like from med school and it's so pilled. This colorway is not my colorway. This is one that I'm like really comfortable to let go of. The colorway, one, I hate the colorway. It's like a weird dingy beigey yellow. So that's a no. And it's really worn out. And so because of that, I'm like, I can finally let this go. Because I really, this one, I really don't like to wear at all. Whereas the other one is like that really soft, beautiful beige. Like I was obsessed with wearing it. You can see how flattering that looks. And then this just makes me look yellow. So if there was one that I had to pick that I had to save, I would just keep shaving this thing. So this is a definite no. This was an easy no. But I just kind of felt bad to declutter it. But I was like, just let it go now. Just let it go. Okay, next up we have is a pair of compression socks. My mom got these for me because they're medical grade because I was going to become a dentist and I was going to be on my feet all day. I mean, dentists don't really stand all day. But anyway, the, the whole point is my mom was really loving and she got me medical grade compression socks ever since clinical finished and I just decided to put my degree on hold. Like on pause, I have not touched these compression socks. Like they were good for clinic, but it's been three years since clinic ended. I'm like, I can let this go and like I can move on. I kept thinking I, I might go back to dentistry, but it's like, no, we're not like, at least not in the foreseeable future. I'm not gonna hold on to these socks for the next, I don't even know, three to four years. At that point, I could just get another pair of medical socks. So we are letting that go. Next up we have is this a cute little, I don't even know what you call this, like a little tank top. It's cute. But like, so there's several things wrong with it or why I don't like to wear it. I actually wore it a lot. When I was really into my beige era, I wore this a lot. And I've definitely worn this to death. And it's actually held up really well given how much I wear and wash it. Like it's actually in really good condition. So that's why I think I'll be donating this one. But so this little V shape is really annoying because it shows too much of my cleavage. And like I'm modest and I don't like showing that much if i can avoid it drop is too deep and i don't like it the other reason is is again that weird shade of beige that makes my like complexion look you know yellow -y. so because of that this one is like we're just letting it go and uh, moving on okay we're like making good time okay next bag so next up i have is these i don't even know what you call them sweats from uniqlo they're pretty good they're extremely pilled in the butt to the point where like actually the whole thing i've washed and worn it so much and it didn't wear very well it's really well loved and every time i look at it it looks so beat and i was like you know the thing is though it's like i don't know why the uniqlo stuff here in canada kind of sucks it's all made of plastic this is made of polyester and this didn't wear well some of my other like uniqlo pieces from from asia from like japan and taiwan and china they have lasted like amazingly but then the stuff here i heard the warehouse is different but anyway these are like super worn out super busted the plastic wore like terribly it has like a weird gray cast where this was once white i wore it a lot already especially because it's like that beautiful ash beige that i love so i wore it a lot it's all ratty and we're moving on like i don't need to be holding on to this okay next up i have is another uniqlo piece so this used to be a sweater that i used to wear a lot in my videos it used to have a hoodie and i've kind of upcycled it i cut off the hood so you can kind of see that like the part here of the hood it doesn't show very well on camera but like i like black black is a nice color and i do have black pieces but this one i've washed and worn so much this is from third year of med school so this is like five six years old and i'm finally in a place where i can let this go it's super oversized this is one of the first oversized pieces i got this is from my extreme minimalism days where i used to wear all black so you, that tells you quite a bit of how old this is but i just when i put it on i see the faded black colorway and i'm just like not to mention the frayed part of where they cut the head off i'm just like i don't want to wear this anymore and i've given myself i gave myself about like two years this year and last year to wear it again i have so much other clothes i'd rather wear i'm not gonna waste a day wearing this so because of that like i can finally let this go and just like move on with my life next up i have it's actually a pretty good and a new piece this is actually a recent pr package from last year it's in really good condition it's like pretty much brand new i haven't really worn it much and it's funny because when this pr package came through i got this and the white one and i was like i don't really like the white one but i'm really gonna wear the brown a lot and then i realized at that time i was like i am a cool tone winter girl and so i started and started wearing the white one and the white one looks so good on me and when i put on the brown i look so yellow in the face it's just and so because of that i just never wore it like i have brown pants that i could pair it with but when i put it on i don't look good and like i don't feel my best and because of that i just realized like that ain't it so i'm actually going to be giving this one away to donations because it's in pretty good condition nothing wrong with it except that it is that weird 
brown colorway that I just don't want to wear and I have so many other cool tone pieces that I'd rather wear I'm gonna waste a day on a piece of clothing that is like not my color more mistakes of like new items or like in really good condition items that are never worn that are just in stupid colorways so here's another colorway from when I got into like browns this was me getting into beige I didn't really know there were nuances to beige to me beige was beige like I bought a brown colorway thinking all shades of beige were like equal this pulls a lot more warm brown it's like a very pumpkiny color doesn't look good on me at all has the same issue of being a mock neck which is like too hot and it's really long and it's just it's not a mood it's not a vibe i've given myself plenty of years to wear it and i never wear it so we're uh, letting it go and uh, moving on next up we have is another little canvas bag that is also from my extreme minimalism days i think this has been in the maybe pile for a while i think you guys have seen it in videos i'm always like i'm gonna declutter it i'm gonna declutter it and then i don't because it has sentimentality i bought this in china but i'm like i'm done i'm over i hate wearing black bags and i can accept that and i can move on move on with my life because i just i don't want to deal with the, with the clutter anymore somebody else who likes black can enjoy it next up we have is another sweater that i think you guys might have seen so this means it was definitely in a maybe pile because it's literally perfect it's everything it's comfortable i've worn it to death and it's so worn out it has like the little fur balls that you get when like cotton is just well loved yeah i'm just letting it go i have other things i'd rather wear now and i don't feel like wearing ratty pieces anymore it's like that oversized beige aesthetic but well loved i can let it go i can move on next up i have is a sweater that is from china that i loved and navy blue is very beautiful it is very flattering and it is still within the colorway like a winter palette with the blue the white and the red and i do like it a lot and you guys have seen it in videos and it's actually in pretty decent condition it's from h&m and it's like a box cut it's like short and like wide and really cozy but i don't gravitate towards it i find like these this like stripey material is just very childish it's not my vibe it's not refined it's not elegant it's not my style and hasn't been for years but i just keep holding on to it thinking i might come back to it it's like no i don't have to come back to this i don't care if like the navy blue aesthetic is like old money i just i don't care and i don't want to wear it and i give myself full permission to let it go and move on with my life and the last item that i have is this like really it used to be cozy but it's acrylic and it's made of plastic other than that it's like perfect but that's the reason why i'm letting it go it's acrylic and i've washed it so many times and it's like it's just completely wasted and furballed and for some reason the machines don't do a good job with like acrylic and plastic the balls they don't come off really well like when you pill it and stuff so i've like i've tried and like it's not happening so i've like i've just decided like this ain't it and i've decided to let it go and just move on with my life and i got my money's worth out of it i bought it in china and it was my transitional piece where i started buying more classic minimalistic aesthetics which you guys can tell that this is but we got our money's worth we can let it go we can move on so there you guys have it that is my second round of ruthless declutter i really don't think that i'm gonna do another one this year it'll probably be like little bits and pieces here of pieces that have finally like kicked the bucket but i think that that's it i really only wanted to do these just because like i am in a position to do that but i don't really do these often i think the very last one i did was back in uh, 2020 so it's been really nice to just refresh my closet and uh yeah thank you so much for taking the time to watch and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching bye